Once you've got the program downloaded on your computer, the next step is to go ahead and download the component library. So in order for you to do that, you're going to go onto your Microsoft Teams. You're going to go to your Teams. You're going to find your class with me. Click it. And under Files, up on the top here, you're going to click that. And there is component library dot zip. So you want to go ahead and click that. And there is an option to download. So you're going to click download. And it's off to do its thing to figure out where it went. So it's usually in your downloads folder. So you go ahead and click downloads. And there's my component library. I'm going to take the component library and drag it out onto my desktop. And from there, I'm going to right click it. There's extract all, I'm gonna extract it. Click extract. And it's created a nice little component library folder that I can access. Now that we have the open file, we can get rid of the one with the zipper and we just have our regular file over here. We're going to open up DipTrace. There are four different programs here. We're going to go ahead and click Schematic Capture. Now, if we look up over here in Components, there's a whole bunch of different components. These files over here are called Libraries. To make your life easier, I've made a custom library that you can use. So, so up on the top here, click library, click library setup, and then you're going to have a bunch of options. You're going to click add, and then you will see a new library group pop up over here. At this point, you want to rename that group. So I'm going to rename it King George Components. You will now see that there's two buttons over here, uh, add library and add folder. We're going to click add library. You're gonna to go to desktop. You're going to find your component library and just keep opening those file folders. And it will finally bring you to two files, an Eli file and a lib file. You need both of them. So to select both of them, you can just hold shift, click one and then click the other. And then you will have highlighted both. So again, you hold shift, click one, then click the other. You know you've done a good job when both of them are blue and then click open. And that will bring up both ROS components and ROS patterns. That's exactly, what you, that's exactly what you want. Click OK. After you've uploaded the library, you probably haven't noticed any changes. However, you know you've done everything correctly when you go over to Components and you expand this, and you can see that there is a new option here. It says King George Components. Click Ross Components. And now there is a whole catalog of different components that you can use to make your schematic. Are you wondering how that component library was made? Keep watching and find out. With regards to our component library, I just want to take a moment to give credit to the person who worked hard to create most of these components. That person is a awesome tech teacher by the name of Mr. Ross, who teaches over at GP Vanier Secondary over on the island. Go ahead and check out his awesome website. Uh, there's so many cool resources there. Our component library is a mixture of his components uh, and components that I have created and thrown in there for you.